Hi everyone, I'm Nicole Alabi and I'm your wardrobe guru. I'm here to help you build a chic, smart, wearable wardrobe that can go anywhere at any time and get you dressed for just about anything in about 15 minutes or less. Trust me, I can get dressed for a black tie dinner and pack for an international trip in about 15 minutes. So today we're gonna get into my seven basics. These basics I feel form the foundation of great many looks, but also the foundation of a really smart wardrobe. So these seven basics, if you already have them, I'm gonna help you breathe new life into them. And if you don't already have them, then get your pen and paper out because it's time to create a shopping list. So the first piece is a black tank. Now you want this to be a more sleeveless than tank top. So steer away from fabrics that are too casual, like a cotton that doesn't have such a great hand feel or something that's ribbed. And you also wanna steer away from pieces that can be mistaken for lingerie. So no lingerie styles in the cleavage area. No lacy anything. You really want it to be something that is a great layering piece, but also something that fits your body really well. I really like fabrics like these because they hug the body, but they also have a really good hand feel. Next is a white t-shirt. Now you want this also to have a really good hand feel. Notice how it's a crew neck. I know a lot of women love the V-neck, show off the girls, but the crew neck is a more universally flattering look. It looks really good under a variety of different outerwear pieces, but it also looks good over things if you wanted to layer in that way too. Again, think about the hand feel. Consider a modal or like a cotton silk blend. Third is a black mini skirt. Now I know for a lot of women, the idea of a mini skirt is like, ah, a mini skirt, like where can I wear that? But that's because you've been brainwashed by Instagram to believe that every single mini skirt is a baby bodycon. Not true. A mini skirt in the most traditional sense hugs at the hips, has an A-line shape, and comes away from the body. So you really want it to just be above the knee, hug the hips, flare out a little bit. So that could be a circle skirt, that could be a shorter A-line skirt, but whatever it is, you want it to be above the knee, hug the hips, flare out. Those are also very universally flattering silhouettes. And as far as the black mini skirt is concerned, you can play with the texture, like maybe trying a leather one. Next is a fine knit black crew neck. When I say fine knit, you want to think of a merino wool or maybe a cashmere. And again, it has the crew neck because again, that's a very flattering silhouette on most women. You want it to be something that has a great hand feel that will stand the test of time because finer knits are really, really good for layering and the maintenance is a lot lower than a chunky knit that might get those little pilly balls on it. Next we have a classic white cotton shirt. Now this is the kind of piece that you want to stay away from any embellishments, any sheerness. You want it to be a 100% cotton classic shirting. This is a really, really strong layering piece in your closet. And also it can be done up really sexy. I'm gonna show you how. So next is a black blazer. You want it to be something you really, really like. So don't just snatch a jacket from a suit you don't wear anymore. You really want it to be the kind of cut that can stand the test of time, and also the kind of cut that can stand alone. Like a double-breasted peak lapel, I mean, that is a really classic and really sharp silhouette. It's the kind that you can wear on top of a pant for work, and also can wear on top of a dress when you're going out. Lastly is a black pant. Now like with the blazer, you want it to be something you really, really like, something that fits you, and you don't want to just snatch a pair of pants from a suit. In high school, I worked at a movie theater, and I didn't care what kind of black pants I wore with my uniform. I just wanted to have a pair of black pants on, so I was in compliance. But now, I feel like you want to try to wear a skinny or a straight fit, something that will really highlight your shape and silhouette. Also, think about the rise. Lower rises with the black pants tend to bring the luxury level down a little bit. So think about mid rises and high rises. Some women can get away with wearing a black jean for their lifestyle. I know I can. So if you can too, think about it not looking too jeggingy, if that's a word, and without it having a strong wash on it. You want it to be a clean black. So none of the whiskering and the washing down the front. You want it to be a clean black silhouette. And once again, like with the skirt, you can play around with textures like a velvet or maybe even a leather or a faux leather. 
So with these seven basics, there are so many looks you can put together. I'm gonna help you show you a couple, some that can go from work to a date, if you're getting dates, I'm not getting dates right now. But if you are getting dates, looks that will go on a date, as well as to other different environments, even casually on the weekend. So let's get into the looks. First off, the only thing more chic than a monochromatic look is an all black monochromatic look. And this look is perfect for anything from a business casual work environment to a more casual day. This monochromatic look is also a great mix between casual and corporate. Add some black opaque tights and you can wear this look to the office and then leave the tights at home and you can be on a night out with your girls. When you swap out the knit, Add the tank and then add a blazer, you have a strong, sophisticated, and powerful office look. And when you swap the pants for the mini, you have a very romantic, modern, and edgy date night look. Now let's add our white pieces to create some strong extremes. When you add a white shirt to an already office appropriate look, you look ready for a promotion. And when you add a white tee to a more casual look, you convey ease and casual confidence. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel below because I'll be posting new videos every single week. And I guarantee by the end of this season, you will have a chic, smart, wearable wardrobe. Every video builds upon the next. And also like and comment below. Post any questions that you have because I'll be sure to answer them. And for more exclusive content like where I got all of these pieces and different price points, go on to NicoleAlabi.com. And also follow me on Instagram because I post little cute stuff on there too. So uh, I'll see you next time, and I better see you next time.